I remember at the beginning of this game, this was the first time we saw, you know, big bad Laval. So we're like, oh, yeah, we're gonna get, you know, we were we were confident, sure, but like it was like Laval, you know, Laval's Laval. So we're we're nervous and I think I don't know if you can see, but Laval has actually walked out and Gascon has his helmet off about ten yards in front of the Laval team, screaming at all of us. I don't know what he was saying, probably something in French or I don't know, yelling at us. Yeah. Hey, there's one. Uh, hey, what was yeah. the what was the feeling after that one? After that pick it was pretty cool because they ran that play once before and I knocked it down and I was pretty upset with myself because I was like I could have easily picked that off watch this see ya that was pretty cool we were all fired up but yeah I knocked the first one down I was pretty upset because I knew I could have picked it and I came off and Greg Knox uh, our DC and he came off and he's like oh you should have picked that like not a you know good job way to knock it down he's like oh man you really should have picked that one off oh to crochet, this was huge. This would have blown the game right over, like right open. But it was offside. It was offside, I think, by like five yards. <laughs> Everybody was so upset, like, oh, it's a terrible call. You watch it on film again, he was offside by five yards, at least. Oh, here it is again. I think this was one of the big defining moments. Because, like, at that point, you just know offense is going to be unstoppable because of this guy and he's holding it out like a loaf of bread too like he'd even tuck it away or anything when you said that like there there wasn't they didn't have much offense or that it was all kind of the run game did you expect that going in like that's kind of what you guys saw from the film in the first place you yeah like when we were watching film it was their pass game was so straightforward i remember they didn't really change much up. They just figured, oh, you know what? I think this is going to work. They're, they were doing simple stuff, but we were pretty good on the back end that we could just, we locked down all of their pass routes. Like, they didn't really have too many because they were really simple, vanilla, all that kind of stuff. But so we just stacked the box against the run and we just kind of knew what was coming. Here it is the first kick. Wide left. What was the feeling after that kick? <laughs> like that kick happens, you're like, oh my god, now we're 0-0 zero, zero with Laval again, you know what I mean? And so we're going into OT and we're like, oh, here we go. Like, we got to just keep it up. Like, we think we're playing out of our minds, which we might have been, but we're just playing our game. Right. But like, so we're thinking like, can we keep doing this? Can this keep going on? God. So this right here, poor, poor guy, Steve Dennis, has a chance to be a hero at the end of the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, because that was, was that on third down too? Wasn't that it? was on third down and he just chucked it up and Steve just, Steve had it. He even said like, he just took a, a bad angle at the ball, misplayed it, misjumped it. So since that we've always like joked like you know the whole credit card vert thing credit oh. card vertical so you make if you're making fun of somebody's jump you call it a credit card vertical because they're jumping you know over a credit card this play here where we're pitching it on the pick and ot is the worst play of all time because we're pitching it and if we lose it they get the ball back and <laughs> like it makes no sense because if we turn it over there they get the ball back and have a chance to score instead of us just getting the ball and saying okay we're already in field goal range let's take a knee all of us are just pitching it and you got greedy you wanted the touchdown yeah yeah a bunch of guys trying to be heroes i guess but no it was, it was pretty funny but so at the time, you're calling for the ball, but or were you yelling, like, get down? No, I was definitely calling for the ball. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted that ball, too. But One of the things that they made a big deal about in the documentary at the start was, like, the white, the white trophy stand at the start yeah. of the year. What did, uh, what did you write on that? What, I wrote life. Just a very general term, like, but I think the reason I wrote it was just because at that time... Right, I, I think I was going in, my, yeah, it was my third year. So I was going in my third year. So at that time, literally everything I was putting in during the year was to football, right? Because I knew we had a good team, like, you know, and in your third year of university, at that point, you're just like, you're so excited because it's, 
you're just playing football because you love it. You know what I mean? That trophy stand was the coolest because once he, once Matt Parasini, that's who got it made. Once he brought it in, everybody was like, it kind of put everybody's mind into perspective. You know what I mean? Like, uh, this is what we're going for. But like I said, that was for the eights, right. right? That trophy stand was meant for the eights. And like I said, once we won the eights, we were all like, yes, we did it. And then that's why it was so cool. Cause it was like, yes, we did it. And then we went to the UTEC. It was like, yeah, we did it. And then the Vanier were like, whoa, we should probably win this.